Emily, good afternoon. Right now, the search is expanding to the bordering town of Bellingham. In fact, reverse 911 calls have been going out to residents there, asking them to check the area around their property. All of this after a bloodhound followed Mike Doherty's scent from here at the command post in Franklin over to Bellingham. Then that scent went cold. All day, the state police air wing flying low and slow over Franklin and Bellingham, methodically searching for any sign of missing college student Michael Doherty. Dive teams are searching the marshy area called Mine Brook as canines search on solid ground. One team starting on the south in Bellingham pushing this way, one team starting on the north pushing the other way, and another unit pushing behind. So we're trying to cover the entire area of Mine Brook. Police say a bloodhound picked up Mike Doherty's scent near the command post in Franklin and followed the scent from Minebrook past the Maple Gate Country Club to Maple Street in Bellingham. And that's where the scent went cold. That route would not be on Doherty's way home from the party he left during the rainstorm at 1.30 Sunday morning in Franklin. But it might explain the items of clothing found on both sides of the brook. Well, we found one article of clothing, a shoe and a shirt on the northern edge, and then we found another shoe on the southern edge. The search is being conducted only by law enforcement and specially trained civilian volunteers with canines. But concerned citizens are finding other ways to be supportive. Again today, a steady stream of people bringing food to the command post. There's a child missing and anything that I can do, even though it's not much, at least I can bring food and be a part of our neighborhoods, our towns, who are very close towns. And the search is continuing right now. It is expected to continue at least until sunset tonight before resuming tomorrow morning. Today, police reiterating to us there are no signs of foul play connected to this disappearance. Reporting live in Franklin, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.